Sunrise Interviews is brought to you by Valley Strong Credit Union. Welcome back here at 619. Tomorrow is National Go Red for Women Day to raise awareness about heart disease and stroke in women. And joining us this morning to share some tips to keep your heart healthy, Dr. Jared Salvo with Dignity Health at Bakersfield Memorial Hospital. Good morning, Dr. Salvo. Thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Good morning. It's fantastic to be here. Thank you. We know heart disease is a huge problem uh, across the country and particularly here in Kern County, we struggle with it. Where do women fall in that trend? Well, what we know is that one in every three women are likely to encounter some form of heart disease uh, during their life. And we know that it actually is the leading cause of death in women um, more than all cancers combined. Uh, the American Heart Association has done a fantastic job over the last 17 years in bringing women's heart health to the forefront of, um, of health care and, and into the public in general. Um, but we really uh, don't want to rest on those laurels. We want to continue to build on it, especially during the challenges that we're having uh, with the pandemic currently. Yeah, let's talk about some of those challenges. It has been a, a rough year um, in the pandemic. I think a lot of people have probably picked up some unhealthy habits, some habits that could, you know, contribute to heart disease in their lives. And not only that, we know heart disease is a risk factor um, when you contract COVID-19. What are some things that we can do right now in the midst of this, this very stressful time to help our hearts be healthier? Well, one of the things that we've seen probably that's the most concerning to me is that um, people have put off their routine health care maintenance, especially if they have chronic medical conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, cholesterol. Um, and so we're suffering uh, in the healthcare community because we're finding that patients are sicker when they arrive to the hospital or, or they put off procedures or visiting their doctors. So first and foremost, don't forget to, to keep up with those routine health care maintenance uh, items. Uh, the second thing is we're, we're finding that the, uh, the novel coronavirus uh, does seem to convey some increased risk of, of uh, heart disease like heart attacks and strokes. Um, and we're not entirely sure why, but uh, it just adds one more uh, page of complexity to what we're dealing with. So, and then of course, uh, we all joke around, but that you know, people have put on the uh, pandemic 15 by sitting around. We just wanna make sure that people are, are keeping an eye on their weight, uh, trying to exercise, get outside, walk, um, anything you can to try and keep yourself healthy. What are some other lifestyle changes that we can implement right now, uh, you know, in our own families to contribute to healthy hearts? That's a fantastic question. So um, thinking about everything that we put into our bodies, uh, the, the food, the meals that we prepare, I tell my patients, look, the more things that you prepare yourself at home where you control the ingredients, um, it, you, you can really can, uh, improve your health, uh, eating a low fat diet, um, sensible carbohydrate reduction, uh, increasing your fiber and drinking plenty of water. Those are all healthy, but also exercise. Let's not forget that the uh, recommendation is uh, 30 minutes a day, at least five days a week. And I tell my patients, I'm just totally happy if they're out there going for a walk. Um, and uh, we're heading into the most beautiful time of uh, weather here in Kern County. I hope people will take advantage of that. Absolutely. Uh, what role does stress play in heart disease? So stress is stress is, is a big factor, and uh, we see lots of chronic conditions that get exacerbated by stressful situations. And and I'm going to be honest, most of my patients are, you know, and just like the rest of us, everyone's uh, been under a lot of pressure and stress with the pandemic. Um, I would just uh, say that uh, relaxation techniques and finding hobbies and things to keep your mind occupied um, and to keep yourself uh, mentally healthy is also very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those positive thoughts can be really powerful, um, even when you don't feel like it. Uh, why is it important tomorrow? What are we doing to go red for women? So 17 years ago, the American Heart Association uh, uh, realized that there was a, a lack of attention to women's heart health. Women often present with cardiac disease in ways that uh, men don't, and it was being overlooked. And so they've started this campaign every year. Uh, to remind us and to educate us and to provide resources uh, for both us as, as healthcare providers, but also to the general community. And um, tomorrow's our day where we, where we wear red and I've got my red lapel pin here. 
uh, to remind people that uh, women's heart health needs to be at the forefront of our thoughts. And uh, even as healthcare providers, we can't forget uh, how important it is for the, the mothers, the, the spouses, the sisters, uh, the daughters in our lives. Absolutely. I wore my red today. I'm going to wear it again tomorrow. Uh, Dr. Jared Salvo, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Such an important month and an important topic. My pleasure. Thank you. We'll be right back.